Hi, welcome to another edition of Seven's Pinball Arama. I'm here at Jeff's house, and we're working on this 1970 Gottlieb flip up card. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you got this. I found you this want, in a basement. Do you want to tell the story real quick? Well, I, I, <laughs> I was looking uh, at a friend's house uh, who she was moving out, getting ready to sell uh, her home, and found down in her basement this old pinball machine, which she was looking to get rid of. So it ended up here. <laughs> and you had you had kind of a fun story about getting it oh, out of the house. It was <laughs> terrible. It was terrible. I was told not to take the legs off of it, and I had to get it out of a basement that had been ran out around it. This thing had been in the basement for about thirty years, I'm suspecting. <laughs> it did not want to come out, and it uh, it was quite a pain. I, I, I owe my friend Mark a lot for helping me get this thing out because <laughs> nobody else would have put up with the job. But we ended up taking the legs off, and it made the job a lot easier. Right. So, and and it nothing really worked on it when you got it, right? Well, nothing really worked on it. Once I got the power source back, I had I had a little bit of action on the playboard, very right. little. Right. And so I've just been kind of piecing it back since then. Right. Right. So why I wanted to have this uh, on on a video is it's got a really unique thing, which is labeled spin pulse switch. And from what I can what I can tell, we'll do a, a shot of the play field. You land in the hole and there's a circle of lights that is all uh, uh, your scoring mechanism, Delia, Delia Bobber thingy. And I believe that this is what that's for and it's it's some sort of a, a mechanical randomizer. So yeah. there's, a, there's a spinner there. Uh, it doesn't work, it's all seized up. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna try and freeze it up. But I wanted to show this, this item because it's, it's not common in pinball machines. So uh, that's, that's the whole point of this thing, this video thing. <laughs> so we're gonna do our best to free it up. I don't know really how it works. Uh, neither of us really know how it works. So we're gonna fumble through it and you get a point and laugh if we <laughs> screw up. All right, so uh, I guess the first thing we need to do is kind of wiggle it out of there. So this is the element here. There's a, uh, there's a solenoid here. There's another one back here. Uh, there's a spring back in the back that you can't see, but you'll be able to see it in a minute. And it, it tensions onto this little doodad. And then this is just like a, a spinner that you would see on the top of a play field that activates this little switch. So what I'm thinking happens is that uh, tension builds up on the spring and then at some point this fires, or maybe the other one fires, this goes pow, spins this, which then uh, sends the signal off to some other stepper, which I don't see here right now. There is one here, which might be related. So once we get this going, we'll see if this starts to click forward or not. I don't see, it would, I would assume it would be something similar to this, but I don't see another one at the moment but we'll uh we'll see if we can see if we can get this thing going first and we'll see what happens once that starts working <laughs> Turning that though, is it? No. It has a stop here, so there's a there's gears all the way around except for right there. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be like a stopping point. I think the trick on this is getting it back where it's like it's where it's supposed to to be. It like there's mm. there's going to be a point zero. Yeah. See at that point is where she's gonna hit the relay. Yeah. So that'll 
that'll open that. And then it moves forward enough to so this this may not it just goes back and forth. This may not fire this. Um, I think this just notches forward. So this is a stepper. It will step forward. Dunk, 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 dunk. And when it resets, it'll, then it spins. it'll pop it back. And you can go one way or the other. You can kind of build it up or build it back. It seems like it goes both. Yeah. That's, OK, that's probably what goes on. All right, so let's take. We'll take this out, and we'll see if we can get it um, free moving. Is it spring hooked into that cotter pin? Yeah. So we got the spring off. Now we have to figure out how to get this off. The one car I had was a little MG midget, 63 midget. And not long after I got it, the transmission blew up on it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I can fix that. <laughs> so I got a, got a rebuilt transmission. Hayes manual and just foolishly went forward with it <laughs> and <laughs> <I> did it. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're really nothing much more than a, a glorified go-kart, right? Yeah, it's an they're, ambitious spot to start. I think that that's going to go out. Like that. Okay. I guess we're taking a switch stack off. Not them that much. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, maybe if I had more space. A better space for working on mm -hmm. cars, I'd be more into it. And then I would probably only work on like more classic ones. Yeah, I get that. Oh my god, what about watches? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, keep them in order. Mm -hmm. I didn't see another. Oh, there it is. Lock washer guy. 
All right. At the Drop of something on there. Do you use lubricant? On uh, something like this, I'll use a little. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this was this particular one was designed to run dry, but on most steppers, when I get them out and clean them, I just put a little on. Mm -hmm. enough when it's in there but ah mm -hmm. so we have a we have a stop room stop here to stop here and this was so that steps it forward like that This fires, it releases a spring. Is that a broken tooth? No, that's a... That's just an actual spot left blank, because it just started yeah. maybe it was broken. Yeah, a lot of these have kind of like a zero point. And that's what that looks like to me. Okay. But the zero point doesn't line up with these, which they usually do. That would be its end point. Mm -hmm. It won't go any farther than that. And then that fires and it goes weep. So, how many steps is that? That's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine steps. The lights are on. Please get that. <clears throat> Ten. Well, okay. So maybe maybe the ace is special with with one being default, and then nine steps around. Right. Yeah. So steps are on this thing. Related? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put this thing back on. I don't know where that.
that's supposed to sit, which is always nice. Give it a little tighten. Oh, it was more, it was sitting upright. But. Yeah. Just put it on so it doesn't fall off for now. And then we can adjust it later. spring was here. Give this so you all set for winter? No, I don't have my tires on yet. <laughs> yeah, everybody's thinking that today all of a sudden. I know. I, I've been so busy doing everything else and uh, it hasn't been, we haven't, now's the first opportunity really. I mean, it's been, it was 21 degrees the other day. I know. I've been really busy doing everything else and I haven't even really thought about it. Do you want me to hold the unit? Um, that's what she said. <laughs> 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 no, I think... <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Mm. So, unhook this. Oh, well, now you have me curious how to do this, yeah. And we'll pop this guy in. All right. And the, yeah, okay. Wow. And we'll wind it the other way around. The trial and error in this is really high. <laughs> Yeah, some of, with some of these things, I just sort of get into them and try to figure out what they're doing. Mm. And then just make note of whatever I can before I dive into them. Uh, yeah, I have found almost every job to be like, you know, a forensic job, right? You yeah. like dismantle exactly what is happening in your mind before you kind of even start to dismantle it. Watching someone else work on it really is a good inspiration for what you can and cannot do when you're trying to work on this yourself. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't think I should take that out. <laughs> I'll never get that back. Okay. This fires. Resets. Steppers. One, two, three, four. Sets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very well. There it goes. Usually with steppers, I like to work them a yep. little bit just mm -hmm. to see if. Resistance is coming from this side now. Okay, so we'll take this off and 
get this all cleaned out. This linear actu actuator, and then in here. Okay. Is that Allen keys again? Yeah. All the waves? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we want to pull the whole piece out. Pull the coil out. has broken off of its thing or maybe that's yeah it's where's the piece that you just took off the the bracket bracket right here oh. yeah so there's a there's a bolt bolts on and oh and the head came off that's worried about it it's kind of it stays put so um, it's probably okay not ideal but <laughs> yeah <laughs> not, not, not fatal yeah a lot of people like to replace these little sleeves yes I've seen uh, I've seen them in the parts and uh, I don't replace them that often. Just if they're not super damaged, then uh, I don't. I don't bother. They get brittle. And, yeah, I've uh, noticed that they get very brittle. That one that we were working on the other day was brittle. I have a. I've had a few where the the coil will get stuck on or something. And the heat will malform them, and then they're nice and tight. Um, but if the if this runs through it without resistance, then I just leave them alone. That's pretty sticky. That's probably where our problem is. A lot of these older ones, um, people have oiled them. Gums up? Yeah, these run dry. Must have had some grit in there, was it? Yeah, weird texture on that. Can't see weird texture on this. Yeah, so that's good movement on that, so I'm not too concerned with that. So it goes this way. This part, sometimes these, I see these in bally flippers. This little nylon guy. And these will flatten. And that causes this to not, it'll cause it to catch, but this one looks fine. Get in there. <laughs> and I 
I do not have the hands for this sort of work, I realize. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have... Uh, yeah, you're not much better. Big, big fingers, too. Oh, oh, oh. That's why I suck at guitar. <laughs> but bass is fine, because they have only four big fat strings. Yeah, like my four big fat fingers. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? We forgot that. We did. <laughs> I have done that so many times working on this uh, yeah. counter reel. You know, get it all together and like, oh, that little piece is supposed to go in there. And I'm not going to be able to weasel it in there, am I? No. <laughs> You know, the, the, when I was setting up all the machines in the arcade, there must be a washer still there. Or something. It fell off down here somewhere. Um, one of the things that I was consist consistently doing is putting the <laughs> putting the head up on the machine, um, whether it it uh, screws on like this or hinges up. And I'd forget the power cord <laughs> inside the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times I did that. Very nice. goes that spins okay so just needed to hit this yeah let's get these springs back these switches back on there we go I'm really surprised how bright the wiring still is in it right for the given its age I think the colors good. yeah it's not too bad. I have some that are much worse, where you can't even see the color. color. Yeah, I've, I've looked at some videos where it's just like a bleached out white everything, you know. And a lot, you see a lot of this where it's just kind of covered in yeah. dirt and stuff. And I've, I've heard and seen where people, they pull the wiring harness and then they put it in their dishwasher mm -hmm. and clean them out, give them a good scrub that way. And, such a massive job. Yeah. It still feels sluggish. So that's going that way. Mm -hmm. So we need to have it on this side. Last time. I suppose that's that's its position after it fires. So it just needs to be reversed, does it? Yeah, so I think we just. Past it or so it will spin freely, right? Just dunk like that. Yeah, we'll have to want it. Yeah, yeah have to go we'll past where to spin. So let's try it there. Oh, that's. 
this gives us some flexibility yeah. for adjustment. So let's put that in the middle. Oh. Whack it as hard as you want. And then... Okay. Oh, look, oh, look at that! that. <laughs> That's cool. That's great. Pow. Nice. That's neat. I like that. So that this adjustment is good to keep in mind if you have one of these and it doesn't seem to be, it, it's catching on this, um, to loosen these get it about dialed into where you want it to be, put these in the middle of this section, and then you can tinker with this back and forth to get it to whack this little spinner nice and hard. Cool. So, this thing. Close. Open. So this is naturally open, that's closed, and when it makes a rotation, the bottom one closes mm -hmm. and the top one opens. All right, I think we can try it. It's a cool little mechanism. I like it. It is. All right. Okay, clear this out and fire it up. Let's see if it does anything. Okay. okay. Start. Well, that one's not wired up. Yeah. Some of those tracks aren't working. No, oh, I, I saw that. Okay, wait a minute. All right, so this has this switch has to be closed for it to do its thing. Oh, we're closer. <laughs> Definitely something <laughs> happening. Well, it works, kind of. <laughs> now all we have to do is figure out what makes it do its thing. But we saw it do its thing. We caught it on film. You saw it. Well, it's not film, is it? It's whatever that is. So, a step closer to getting this uh, old thing going. Yeah, it's nice to see it come to life. <laughs> now we just figure out what activates it. Yeah. So a couple, of, there's probably some switches in here that probably need some looking into. I know when I was hitting these, some of these weren't triggering, or they, they sounded like they were triggering, but they weren't actually clicking in place. We may have um, to sit down and figure out how, what the rules are. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I know that I, this stepper is doing something related to the circle of, of cards in the play field, and this wasn't advancing by itself. So this is something that there's probably a switch somewhere that isn't making a contact or something. That's that's where the schematics come yeah. in. <laughs> but yeah, so that was a fun little gizmo. So that was, uh, I, I was happy that that was, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was, <laughs> it, was it was entertaining to take it apart, put it back together again and, and make it actually do its thing. So oh, it was great. It was great to have your help. I really oh, appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Fun old machine. It would be cool to see it all up and running when it's up and running. Oh, well, you're welcome to come back and help me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably will. All right, so there you go. I've, I've threatened to do a pinball video, a pinball repair video, and this is what you get. So uh, a little doodad in, a, in an old pinball. 
and the storm is rolling in and I'm cold. So I'm going to turn off the camera and, and that's going to be into this video. And okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> one handed pinball. Can you take that one? That one. I'll take this side. It's a tiny clipper on this guy. Yeah. I like that it's not symmetrical. It's cool. Not many games like that. It's also not seating level. We've discovered that's a bit of a problem for it too. You really do need them level. I don't think your ball counter is working. <laughs> your ball counter is off. That's great.